welcome to Topper Talk, your number one Western Kentucky Athletics podcast. I'm your host, Stephen Moffitt, and I'm joined by co-host Tyler Bailey. Hilltopper Nation, whether it's happening on the hill or on the road, grab those red towels, stand up and cheer, because it's up next on Topper Talk. All right, welcome back, and thank you for downloading and listening to another episode of the Topper Talk podcast. Uh, today, I'm joined not by Tyler, my usual co-host, but I'm joined by senior outside hitter on our volleyball team. I'm joined by Kaylee Cox. Kaylee, welcome to the show, and thank you for joining me. Thank you. Now, I love these interviews because we get to find out a lot more about our athletes, you know, from a, a non-traditional, you know, we're not talking to you after a game and talking about how that went or how practice necessarily has been going, but we get to find out a little bit more about you and this team and kind of what to expect. So obviously the first thing I did is I was like, okay, I'm going to go WKU sports. I'm going to go check out your biography on the, on the WKU volleyball roster. And the first thing that jumped out to me was mom and dad both played college sports, two sisters, both played college sports. So you know, you obviously come from an athletic family, athletic background. Um, you know, I can just imagine that those game nights or any sports, anytime a ball or competition, you know, happens at a family gathering, it just has to be intense. I guess, how, how you know, what was that like growing up? And even, you know, to this day, I'm sure it's still a competitive nature and environment. So it was very competitive in our household. I actually had three sisters, so the other one just played D2 and then the other ones played D1, but it was very competitive. We were always outside in the yard, just playing basketball, volleyball, soccer, anything that you can think of. And even coming down to card games around the table with our family, it was very competitive. And many times uh, there were people leaving the table crying. Um, I think that kind of helped me grow up into the person that I am today. Just, being competitive on the court and trying to kind of lead my team into different ways and just staying competitive at all times has really helped me. And just growing up with an amazing family has helped me with that as well, too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it definitely pushed you to be an amazing athlete. Obviously, you know, division one volleyball player is impressive. Now, you know, talking about, you know, this upcoming season, um, you know, you recently had the red and white scrimmage. I was lucky enough to be there with my family um, had a really good crowd. You know, Bowling Green community showed up. You know, it was really nice to see. I feel like that that interest and that buzz around volleyball, not even just locally with WKU, but I feel like nationally has just been growing in popularity, just um, leaps and bounds, just nationally. You know, you see that, that big outdoor game with the record attendance just this last year. And just how has that growth been and that popularity been you know, not from, you know, I'm looking at it from a fan perspective. It's awesome to see more people, more crowd, better environment. But how has it been from the player perspective that you're getting to play in those arenas and those environments on a daily basis? Just first of all, the Bowling Green community is amazing. Just first time stepping on campus, I felt very welcomed. And just playing in front of all those people is really special. And it helps us get through those tough games that we have. Um, even with traveling too, we travel pretty well with our team and there's fans that are constantly showing up no matter where we are. And I think just the game of volleyball has grown so much, even just with the Olympics just happening, there were tons of people there at the volleyball games. And I think there needs to be more talk about volleyball and there needs to be more people coming to games and supporting people and, I think just watching the sport grow has been awesome, even just from my freshman year to my senior year now. It's just grown a ton. Yeah, absolutely. Now, before we dive into this year's team, you always love to hear the story from every player because every player's path and journey is different um, on how they ended up at WKU. And obviously you transferred here from Missouri. Um, So I'd love to hear that story. What was your recruitment like coming out of high school And what made you choose to initially go to Missouri out of high school? So Missouri was a top 25 team whenever I was committed there. And it was a really good program. There was a coach before that was leading this team. And just he kind of raised up that program and then stepped down a year before I got there. And so I originally stayed committed and 
just followed that path and it was a really great program they've done a ton of a lot of good things and i'm super happy for my time there and just the recruiting process through high school was so much different than when i was transferring it's just you have four years in high school and you're looking at schools and obviously there's new rules now with the recruiting with high school kids but just going from high school to college is a huge jump and i think mizzou like truly prepared me for my two years here at western and just the recruiting process whenever i was in the transfer portal was so much different with it only being about two weeks of me trying to figure out my new school i really had to dive down deeper into what i really wanted and i think just it's a lot easier because you were already at a school in the past and so you kind of know what you like and what you don't like and so it made that process easier for me to come into a new school yeah absolutely and, you know and just again looking back at your bi- your biography and just how much you played at missouri i mean you played a lot of volleyball there and then decided to transfer so i guess you know kind of what led to that decision to you know enter that transfer portal go through that recruiting process again and then what ultimately you know, drew you to WKU and choosing that as your new home? So we were a very young team uh, my freshman year at Mizzou. We had a ton of transfers leave after that COVID season. So we actually had six freshmen starting and playing. So I think that, honestly, it was really tough to be a freshman in the SEC playing and starting, but it really raised my level of competitiveness and my talent in that. So I think that helped me for the future, but it was definitely difficult. But transferring was a big thing for me because we had just fired our head coach and I wasn't sure who was coming in to fill that role. So I wanted to get into the transfer portal and look at my options. And ultimately Travis reached out and we just started talking and finally took a visit here. And I came with my mom on the visit And I immediately stepped on campus and felt so much love. And just talking with Travis in his office, the first time I was there was just like, wow, like he is an amazing coach. And obviously he's been here for 30 years and he knows what he's doing. So just getting in an office with him and even just talking to him for the first time, I went back to the hotel with my mom and I was like, well, (laughs) I figured out my decision. So it was it was pretty, he made it pretty easy to decide to come here and I have no regrets with coming here and it's been amazing so far. I love to hear that. Now I, I want to look back and talk about last, you know, last season. And then as I started to compile these notes, man, there's, there's a lot of stuff last year. So obviously you're playing with one of the all time greats at WKU volleyball and Paige Briggs um, and the all time and historic coach in Travis Hudson, like you just said, entering his 30th season uh, we finished with a 30 and 5 overall record. We were 16 and 0 in Conference USA play, 14 and 1 at home. Um, one of only 12 teams now to finish in the top 25 and win an NCAA game in five consecutive years. Uh, as for your honors, you are on the CUSA Commissioner's Honor Row. You're an ABCA All Region team member, uh, Conference USA First Team All Conference. Uh, you were Offensive Player of the Week, 10-16. You had 392 kills on the season. You surpassed 1,000 overall for your career. Um, obviously, just an amazing season last year as a team and, and for you individually. Um, and just really continuing you know, a decade plus of just excellence that Travis Hudson has brought to the heel of what the expectation and what the standard is. So, you know, now that the season has, has been – completed for a while how do you look back and summarize you know the team and the season last year in 2023 well with that being my first season with WKU I was blown away I surpassed how many wins I ever had in my college career with just one season at WKU and that's amazing to just see and to be able to play alongside the girls that I was playing with was amazing. They have built up a program and a culture here that is unmatched. And just playing with those girls is super easy. We all trust each other. We all have faith in each other to do their own job. And just being on the court was, you could feel that energy just coming off. And 
I felt very comfortable with joining this new team, even though it was my first season. They were very welcoming, and it was super easy to have a good season when you have the people surrounding you that love you and trust you and have built up this amazing culture. And Travis has a standard, and everybody is 100% committed to that. And it's never changed. And obviously he's doing a good job with him being in his 30th season and how many wins that he has, but just being around the girls and having them push you every single day in the gym is super easy to make somebody else besides you better. And just everybody's so unselfish on this team with, if they don't know their role, Travis is going to tell them and they're going to own that role and just be a hundred percent committed to that. And everybody has a role on this team, no matter what they're doing. And everybody is committed to being their hundred percent every single day. Yeah, absolutely. I love that you touched on culture because we're definitely going to, we're going to follow up on culture here in just a moment, but uh, you also talked about roles and y'all have heard that a couple of times now in in the media availability uh, with yourself and Travis, just a few days ago, you're just talking about roles and the players and, just several people that can do several different things and just anything that's asked of them. So, you know, looking forward to this 2024 team and this season that's kicking off soon, obviously the team's going to look a little bit different when you lose an all-time great like Paige Briggs, who's off playing professional volleyball now. Um, How would you compare and contrast this year's team, what we might look like this year and, and expect compared to last year's team? I think every team is different. Um, Travis always talks about how people are so worried that we're not going to be as good. But if you look at two years ago when we lost Lauren Matthews and then that past season, we were still, if not better than we were that past year. And I'm hoping it's going to be the same thing. We do have a smaller roster this year with only 12 people. And I think all 12 of those people are going to make a huge impact, no matter if it's big or small. And I think just focusing on, their job and their role is going to be super important. And obviously we have three new freshmen and they're all going to make a huge impact. And also a transfer from Rutgers, she will make a huge impact. And just everybody coming into the gym each day and owning their role and doing their job is super important to the success of our team and our season. And I think just having that culture set of, you know your role and you're going to do that 100 percent is what makes our team so great yeah absolutely i love that you talked about uh you know two years ago losing lauren matthews another just all-time great you know all-american for this program you know same thing again when you lose Paige briggs but you know coach hudson has shown that he doesn't rebuild he just reloads and like you said i feel confident that we have the talent on this team um, you you partially touched on my next question. And I, I really like that, but I love the senior leadership that this year's team has between yourself, Katie, and Kennedy. And then you also mentioned Madison that you know, brought in as a transfer. So we have some you know upperclassmen leaders on this team, and then we also brought in those three freshmen, like you said, Olivia, Faith, and Camilla. I guess how would you say that the new faces to the team, and I guess including Madison as a transfer, you know, how are they fitting in with the team? and buying into the culture that and the expectation here at WKU? They are fitting and amazing. They're some of the best people that we could have gotten. And just having that one month of summer before the coaches get involved is huge to our success and just kind of showing them what the culture is like and how to kind of set that standard for them has been a huge help for us. And with Madison coming from the Big Ten, she has four years of experience playing against some of the top 25 teams in the country, and you can see that on the court and just with her energy and her kind of seniority, bringing that to the table has been huge for us too. Obviously, she's the oldest one on our team with being a fifth year, and so she's been a huge help, and the three freshmen have really bought in and just kind of adjusted to our culture that we have here and they're all going to be a huge help too and just being a senior outside and Katie also being a senior outside we've kind of taken Faith and Olivia kind of under our wing and just shown them the ropes and trying to help them learn the new things that Travis is teaching them and I think being those senior outsides and helping those two younger girls is going to be huge for their success. 
Yeah, absolutely. I was really impressed by all the new players at the scr- at the red white scrimmage. I was really impressed by. I mean, everyone on the court, but you know, just especially watching the freshmen. You know, pulling up the roster, seeing what number they were, and just watching how they were moving on the court. I was really impressed by their play. So I'm really excited to see what they bring and add to this team. Um, now, talking about the schedule this year, I mean, 17 home games, uh, just a really tough slate of games, that home opener against Tennessee, a little rematch there. Um, it's always nice to have an in-state matchup with UK. We've got to play them a couple years in a row now. Uh, we also got Marquette, Dayton, and Illinois on the schedule You know, before we even get into Conference USA play, which is always tough. So I guess talk to me about some of those matchups and how it feels to have such a challenging schedule to get this team ready you know, for postseason play, hopefully. Travis has talked about it a little bit, but I think this is one of our toughest schedules that we've ever seen. And I think a big focus for us during these two days that we've had is the word toughness. And that's going to be huge for us in those tough games. And we have four home games that are all top 25 teams. And just going into those games, I think Um, it's going to be difficult, but we are building up a culture of toughness that we can handle those teams. We are also a top 25 team and we should be able to go neck and neck with them. And I'm super excited and we're going to need all the help that we can get from our fans, which is why I love this community so much because they're so bought into being at those games and supporting us along the way. And I think opening up at Kentucky is going to be a huge testament to how tough we are and that's already in two weeks and we I think we're already prepared for that and we're just getting better each day and just having that tough mentality to go out and some of those teams may be better than us but they may not be as tough as us and so we're going to show that out on the court and do our best to try and get those wins under our belt. Absolutely. And if you're listening, season tickets are only $50. I'm telling you, I mean, it's the best bargain. It's the best value in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I promise you're going to see the winning is program on the hill. You're going to watch exciting and winning volleyball. So Kayla, I guess, you know, if, if anyone's on the fence about coming to games, tell them why they need to come to Diddle Arena and support this, this volleyball team. Well, we are a top 25 team and we are one of the best in the nation and we also have one of the best coaches in the nation with it being his 30th year he has led us to so many victories and i'm just so excited to see what we can do this season with him coaching us for another season and the atmosphere that the fans bring to our games is helping us get through those wins and get through those tough games and with those four home matches we're going to need all the support that we can get to pull out those wins and have that energy and loud home court advantage yeah and i've said it several times on this podcast that you know i I go to you know as many wku athletic events as i can football basketball baseball softball all of them i try to go to everything we also have season tickets to volleyball and i promise you the volleyball matches are the most exciting and intense games on the hill bar none i mean there's it's non-stop action um it's exciting it's fun there's there's never a lull in the action there's always something going on and we win a lot of games i mean that that helps when you're winning a lot of games it's fun to go watch a a fun and winning team uh they're coached the right way by coach hudson we have good players we have good people representing our university so you know if you're on the fence definitely just come check them out once come go check them out one game I promise you'll have fun and you'll want to go back and support this team and this program um, because they're they're one of a kind. And I think it's safe to say that they're our best and most consistent program on the hill. Now, Kaylee, I'm going to let you get out of here. Um, I do thank you for taking the time to join me and talk this Hilltopper volleyball team. Uh, I do wish you the team and the team uh, all the best in this upcoming season. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. I appreciate your time. All right. Go Tops. Thanks.